You know, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get back in this one. I thought I unlocked something here, but maybe not. Well, anyways, we're gonna go help Bon Bon over here, uh, which is my new nickname for Bonnie, cause she's my little sweetheart. I need a little cute, little cute nickname. Oh shoot, 5 a.m. That's is that pretty far off or? Maybe maybe I should just go to sleep. Do 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 do. I run really weird. Doesn't he kind of run weird? I mean, for real, I think he runs real weird. So let's save the game here, cause honestly, I don't think I saved it. I I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. So I did not. So that's good that I did, cause who knows what happens. All right, so it's morning time. Everybody's doing their chores, and I'm gonna go meet my darling Bonnie, Bon Bon. Oh, Bon Bon! I'd scale a fence for you and knock over the same chair. I, I've knocked over that chair like 12 times now. Obstacles in our path. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. Disco no, club. Yes, I did not. Well, basket weaving club. You don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. Oh, 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 Bonnie. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. That is where oh, you're wrong. Me. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Oh my gosh, Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. What are you getting yourself into? <laughs> About the ride. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Okay, okay. What if I mounted your horse instead of mine? I should have beat her to it. Go. Come on, boy. I'm gonna push you over, Bonnie! I'm so gonna win this. This isn't even gonna be fair. On the count of three. She's gonna three, cheat. Two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! No. You don't know me at all, Mr. McFarland! You don't. <laughs> I could kill you in the night, and you have no idea who I am. Now, isn't that funny? I could murder your whole family, like I've murdered many before you. <laughs> that got dark. See you, Bon Bon. Bye bye. Oh shoot. Okay, all right, calm down. I obviously went up the side of a cliff there. It doesn't count. Oh no, she can't win. She won't. Sperm or what did you say there? Come on. Yeah. There we go. Here we are. There we go. We're taking the lead you here. Still think you're gonna win this, don't you? 
No! No! I did cheat a little bit there. Is that some sex thing? Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. There's some deer in the way. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Mr. Farland. How you doing back there? Gosh, they are just... Oh, my gosh. Are you saving the best for last? They're so cute. They are so adorable together, aren't they? Would you like me to slow down? Let's go. No! No! Oh! Isn't this jolly? I got it. That's a winner. That's right, Bon Bon. Oh, thank you very much. That was fun. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Gosh, their uh, tension, their sexual tension's ridiculous. Uh, I guess I'm gonna do this one. Let's do this one. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Since we haven't talked for five minutes, you know. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I can do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the driver's seat. Cool. Thanks, Bonnie. You're so silly. Um, but seriously, guys, isn't their relationship, like, awesome? I love it. I love it when... You could actually feel something about the characters in a game. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. Just killed you your dog. <laughs> 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 no, <miss. laughs> I literally I just killed well, one of her dogs. <laughs> and she's just chatting up. Oh, there's always hope. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to, gotta stay take a drink here. to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. <laughs> you are being so <laughs> pure as a substitute <laughs> for having a personality. One of my favorite things in this game is what happens in, like, the backgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. Sorry, guys. I'm like dying over here. Wow, look at that, <coughs> that landscape, guys. I think it's kind of funny. I found you dying on the side of the road, and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Oh, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> the relationship's a little bumpy to start off with, but uh, otherwise I think it's going to blossom into something great. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Whoa. Only three years or so. Shoot, I broke the law? Are you kidding me? What <coughs> what law did I break? Driving on the wrong side of the road? That person clearly ran into me. Okay, I have it on film. Oh, I've got to start all the way back here. <sighs> Whatever. That person's obviously trying to get some insurance money. 
out of me hitting them with my goal. But, um, okay, whatever. I guess we're gonna do this whole stupid route again. So, guys, I guess don't break the rules or the law wherever you go because apparently that's too much. How well do you know New Austin? I don't. We talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. Who's we? Me and the folks I used to used to work with. Yeah, New Austin. Last real outlaw country. But the old ways still hold true. If you do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. If you do a man right, well... He still may shoot you wow. more, but at least you have an idea of what's right and what's wrong here. Dear, oh dear, Mr. Marston, what dreadful knowledge you get that romanticized civil out of. Those days are long gone, if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the cars. We'll be lucky if our ranch survives another five years. Businessmen are the new cowboys. There we go, we didn't kill anybody. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. First one's on me. Thank you, miss. <laughs> I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Jeez. All right, so we're, we're gonna funky run all the way over to the doctor's office and purchase some mihisong. How are you, Mister? You need something for that gout? Apple is one dollar. Thanks. All right, what do we got up here? Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. At least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. <laughs> See you later, Bonbon. Bon. About to do some exploring. Don't break the law. I mean, look at that. Even the back of the stagecoach is, is filled with stuff. I mean, that's so cool. I mean, that is attention to detail. <laughs> I get 50 honor for helping somebody. Um, go into town. Thank you.